Hello, my dear friend. Today we are going to talk about the application of Cauchy's inequality. This problem comes from a projectile motion in physics. Let's have a look at the details of this problem. Suppose an athlete is throwing a ball. The height of the ball from the ground is h. The initial velocity of the ball is v0, and the angle to the horizontal is theta. The horizontal distance of the ball will be different if theta takes different values, as we can see in the demo. So the question is, how to get the maximum value of the horizontal distance? If you want to have a try, please pause the video. If you're ready now, let's get started. Okay, let's see how to prove this problem. Suppose the moving time is t. So we will have the following two equations according to the physical knowledge we have learned in school. Look at these two equations. We usually think it's possible to solve for t from the second equation and substitute t in the first equation. So we will have the expression of s of theta. But our physics teachers will tell us the method you proposed is not feasible because you can hardly figure out the result. And the teacher will teach you the vector triangle to solve this problem in a physical way. Wow, is it true that you can hardly figure out the result from the two equations? I don't think so. So let's try to solve this problem in a mathematical way. We will have a quadratic equation from the second equation. At the same time, we can solve for t by using Vieta's formula, where delta equals the following complicated expression. Substitute delta in t and substitute t in the first equation, we will have the expression of s of theta. Now the question is how to get the maximum value of this formula. What we want to do is to find out the maximum value of this formula. That means there is a constant, and the formula is less than or equal to this constant. So let's have a look at the famous Cauchy's inequality. AC plus BD is less than or equal to square root of A squared plus B squared times C squared plus D squared. See, there are sines and cosines in the formula. And we know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, and that's the constant that might help. So let's try to do the magic with Cauchy's inequality. Let A equal sine theta, B equal cosine theta. So the first term turns to be square root of sine squared plus cosine squared, and that's the first constant that we need. Let C equal V0 times cosine theta, D equals square root of V0 squared sine squared plus 2GH. The second item turns to be square root of V0 squared cosine squared plus V0 squared sine squared plus 2GH. And we know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. V0 squared cosine squared plus V0 squared sine squared equals V0 squared for the same reason. So we get square root of V0 squared plus 2GH, which is the constant that we need. What a marvelous calculation it is. Let's come back to S of theta, which is less than or equal to V0 over G times square root of V0 squared plus 2GH, and that's the maximum value of S of theta. So what's the value of theta when S gets the maximum value? Leave your answer to let me know you have already know this method. If you like this video, share, like, and comment. If you are interested in solving math problems, please subscribe this channel and follow my videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.